you know, I like how people think that if I lose, I, I'm gone. In a way, I, I would have done that. My mind was made up. Uh, but in a way, I still have a few contractual obligations to finish. And I'm, and I'm not trying to dodge this at all. If it was my choice, I would say fuck them, fuck, fuck them all, and leave. But that's not the guy I am. So, like, yeah, if I did lose a trank, I would still stay retired. But then again, in the next couple months, we have what? We have a Groats, uh Cage Force Wrestling or something like that. And I'm going to be a part of that in a little bit. And, uh, and, 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 don't, and don't say it's bullshit, because it's true. I, I was, like, the first one to sign up from that mail. I don't know if I am or not, but I, I was one of the first people to do it. So I'm like, yeah, let's do this. I mean, I mean it's, it's fucking SVR all over again. I mean, and then he went on to, you know, with the Hallow Mansion records or whatever. And that became very successful with the, uh, also the fame factor thing he's doing too a little bit. But, uh, I mean, I mean, there's that. And there's also general manager position in XHW. Yeah, it's like, it's like I'm not going to leave them behind since we started to build this company. We started to build this company, and um, I'm more probably one of the reasons it's being that successful. I mean, sure, the pay-per-view is shit, but, you know, not every, not every pay-per-view is going to be fucking amazing where you just pull something out of your ass. It's going to be like a five-star pay-per-view. Even TNA and WWE cannot pull that off. And, uh, I mean, of course, there's, the, like you've seen a few of the videos for the S SGW. I mean, I'm not even getting paid for that at all. I'm just doing that because, you know, now at least, like, let's do that for one match and see how it goes. It's like, okay, let's do that. And now, you know, I'm putting up my own commentary in there. I'm putting my own uh, spin on things, you know. I mean, also, it's a great training ground for the, you know, divas that want to be in Empire or wherever, want to get their RP better, just to get their RP better or something like that. And they do that. And it's a good place to, to do that, to be honest. As long as you know the password and don't spoil it for the rest of the people, you're good. Which I've done a few times, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah. And what else? There was something else. I mean, yeah, EBW is making their return, and they I, they wanted me to be in a uh, thing for a free federations, you know, like for a, a Fed versus Fed versus Fed match. I was going to represent EWF or one of the promotions that were dead. I was actually thinking I could have uh, represented EBW or something. But XHWE and another federation, XHW, would be in this also. That's going to be a cool match, I mean. So, I mean, even if I do, and I'm not trying to make excuses because... If it was up to me, I would say, sorry, guys, I said what I said, and I meant it. I was going to leave forever. But, in a way, if I do lose to you, Trank, and there is a slim chance that I will, then, yes, I will stay retired and only have a match for those specific things that I just talked about. Other than that, I would be retired. I would be gone forever, ring-wise. Management-wise, I don't know. So there's stuff I don't know. We'll see about that. But, Trank, do you really know what you're getting into? I mean, it's a strap match. A naked oil strap match, for God fuck's sake. So, really, do you know what you're getting yourself into? Because I know what I'm getting into. I've been training in the gym every day for this. Probably, what, not the best shape of my life, but pretty, da pretty damn close to it. And sure, the pain's gonna hurt, but I mean, dude, I have... Everything to lose. Virtually barely anything to gain. You have nothing to win. Although you would be the first one to retire yours truly. But you barely have nothing to lose. Other than a little bit of respect from the boys in the back. And that's not that bad of a deal there. But honestly. Do you really think you can beat me? Sure, you're four and two in our little rivalry thing right now. But I could turn it around just like that. This is my kind of match. There is no way I'm losing to you, Trank Jericho. I don't care who's trying to interfere because they can't do a shit damn thing because they can't come in. We made sure of that. No, no, nobody from my side either. And hell, there's people that wanted to manage me because just because of the Tracy Brooks, Brooks thing. That was kind of retarded, too, since she's going to be gone. But that does give me an idea for when I do kick your ass, Trank. And when I do, we'll see what happens with that idea and see if it still works. 
But for now, we are like, what, 24 hours away? Close enough to it for this pay-per-view match. And I am ready for it. This is the first time in a long time I'm going to be in fucking Empire or wherever. It was last time it was like fucking Universe. And then there was HWF and then there was uh, MBW. No, that was before. But you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. This isn't my first time around these kind of matches. I have all my bases covered. You don't. I want to wish you the best of luck because you're going to need it, boy. You're going to need it. If all this trash you've been talking the past few weeks, sure, it gives you a few fucking brownie points with the divas and with management and with people, but until you do something, until you make a name for yourself, that all that means nothing. Absolutely nothing. And let's see if you can keep up with me. Because what I'm thinking, Drake, it'll be total domination. On your part. But, talk is cheap. My actions in the ring will speak louder than my words. So, Drake, let's see what you can do, buddy. Old friend, old pal, because I don't think you can do a damn thing about it. And there is actually two things you can do. That is nothing and like it. Peace out.